All right, so good morning. It is the 15th of March, it's Monday morning, it's 8.27. It's the start of fourth year of varsity of computer engineering, and it's of course starting online, which is not super exciting. I'm going to a computer engineering architecture lecture now. I'm excited for this subject, basically the internals of computing and how computers work, so that's gonna be interesting. Just been doing some hive work this morning, just been doing some coding, doing some Firebase uh, aero troubleshooting. Maria is also here, working hard, Hi. having breakfast. What is on the menu this morning? Pro Nitro. Pro Nitro. Very <laughs> looks, dry Pro Nitro. It's delicious. And coffee. Maybe you can go make us some like eggs after this or something. Yay. <laughs> anyway, let's start the year with a positive attitude. Smooth panning camera shot. Maria and I are out on a run. Well, she's running. I am now cycling. She's got a bit of a knee injury. Going back to the physio tomorrow. First day of varsity lectures was okay, not wonderful, but I'll I'll pull you in more inside where there's no wind noise. Hey what's up? That was a really chilled cycle. How was your run? It was good. I was tired. Yeah, it was good. Uh, yeah, I'm just cycling at the moment because I have a little bit of a knee injury. Apparently my left leg is way underdeveloped compared to my right leg. I went to the physio recently complaining of some knee pain. I don't know. I can't really see it. This one's apparently way less developed than this one, but apparently it is so. And when I squat down on one leg, I can feel how much stronger this leg is. Um, anyway, so I'm working at that with some exercises, which you'll see a bit later. But today was the first day of varsity for 2021 online. I started my fourth year of computer engineering. Can you believe it? It was... Okay, it was all from home. I just had three lectures, one of which I haven't watched yet because it was pre-recorded. It's an AI lecture that looks really cool. I'm really excited for AI. It looks like it's going to be a really cool module full of difficult practice, but like really applicable probability and maths uh, to my career, to software engineering and AI. So I'm really keen to get started on that. The lecture looks to be boss. EAS, Computer Engineering Architecture, the lecture also seems really cool. And we just had a, an intro lecture online today, like a live session where we all just went into Blackboard and listened to him talk and explain the module. It's basically the inner workings of computers and how they work and how, how to simulate uh, you know, a, a CPU, a cache, memory, how to like, really understand the inner workings of a computer. So that's going to be cool. That's going to be really fascinating. And I'll probably be able to make a nice video about that, about how computers actually work. And then in IPI, Engineering Professionalism, I haven't started that yet, having my first lecture tomorrow, but that's basically just Engineering Professionalism. So... I don't think it's going to be too exciting. It's basically just about the Engineering Council of South Africa and why it's important to register as an engineer in a professional capacity. It just looks like it's going to be research. And then my last module, EME, is the third year course, Electromagnetics, uh, which is going to be pretty boring from the looks of the first lecture, just like physics and maths and calculations and working out, which is fine as well. It's fine if you just have lots of tutorials and calculations to work out and to learn from rather than obscure theory tests that they ask which they never teach the content on. So yeah, EME, Electromagnetics, and EII, Artificial Intelligence, are both third-year courses, and then uh, EAS and IPI are fourth-year courses. So four modules a semester. It's going to be fun. Looks like it's mostly going to be online. Maybe some practicals for EAS in person, or just the practical demos, and then everything else so far looks to be online, which is not going to be super exciting. So going to be home for most of the time, but going to make the most of it, going to see friends, going to go out, going to go on 
runs and cycles and go to gym and focus on the YouTube channel and focus on my job and build some projects for myself. If you've got so much unstructured time at home, uh, I'm never going to have it this much unstructured time again. Might as well make the most of it. And so yeah, good first day. Let me go inside and help with dinner and shower and that because we have load shedding at 8 o'clock. Going to make full use of that load shedding though and watch some lectures that I've downloaded offline uh, when the power goes out at 8. So see you then. Uh, oh, my knee. <laughs> Good morning. I had an AI lecture this morning that was really enjoyable. It was about the ethics of AI and what intelligence is. Intelligence is kind of the philosophy of AI. It was interesting. I'm busy hauling ass to a physio appointment that starts in like four minutes. It's good stuff. Getting a warm up. Uh, I'll talk to you later on the way back. Uh. Hey vlog. So it's now nearly the end of this first week of Varsity. So what you watched just now was the first day of Varsity. Um, but the first week of Varsity was kind of slow, so I didn't film too much. Mostly just admin related tasks and getting into some stuff. Although I do have an AI prac due in like a week and a half. So I better get crack... Uh, yeah, a week and a half. <laughs> and so I better get cracking on that. But I just wanted to quickly um, recap the end of my holiday. I was going to make a whole separate Smashing My Holiday Goals video. But I think I'm just going to include it in here rather. Um, looking at my long holiday to-do list thing here, all of the things that I did or wanted to do in the holidays, like I made quite a lot of videos, YouTube videos, I was really happy about that. Uh, I got a job, which was really cool. <laughs> did my back work and I'm now continuing with that job, which is awesome and it's like a great step forward for my career and that kind of stuff. Um, I finished a React course that I wanted to do. I also finished an AI Udemy course that I wanted to do. That was super cool. I learned a lot. It's helping me now with AI during the semester and I know how to build websites and that thanks to that. Uh, web development and slash react course which is cool. Cleaned my bathroom cupboards, I built a basic Firebase web app with database read and write which is cool because I wanted to learn Firebase uh, for a while and now I, now I know it and I know a bit of Azure as well, Azure, not sure how to pronounce it, and so I can build websites like a lot better than I could a couple of months ago at the beginning of the holiday. Look it was a very long holiday, it was three months long, close to four months actually. Uh, and so achieving a lot during those those four months is like not as impressive as it would be during a normal one month long holiday but I'm super happy that I used it productively and if I hadn't got that job and I hadn't spent the entire holiday just doing stuff and achieving stuff I don't know actually what I would have done with myself because four months is a long time to just sit at home with your own thoughts and so I'm happy with that. I researched SSDs, I got myself an SSD um, I experimented with different YouTube lighting as well as with my camera. I got a, a light ring here, which you can see, which makes me look all pretty and I actually have a nice background for a change. Uh, got Christmas presents. I backed up everything to my hard drive. I, uh, <coughs> I cleaned up my Google Drive storage. I reset my computer. I did a three-day digital detox just about. I didn't do some of these things. Some of these things I crossed off because I, I don't, didn't want to do them at the end of the holiday anymore like I wrote them down during the semester and then by the time I got to the holiday I wasn't interested in it or it was like too complicated I just I didn't feel up to doing it and so things like um, building a Python web scraper that checks if announced results are announced on the portal or um, making another web scraper getting my LinkedIn profile together and start posting there okay I'll eventually have to do that one because LinkedIn is important when you're looking for a job but yeah learn breakdancing for clubs huh never did that I mean, I know the clubs are open and people are going, but I won't be going anytime soon. And so, yeah, that was kind of not important. And then if I'm looking at the end of the list here, yeah, sell my guitar on Gumtree, got some nice cash dollar for that. Move out of apartment in Pretoria, jeez, did that. Read a lot, I did that. Well, I haven't been doing it as much recently. I need to get back into the audiobooks. Things on my to-do list, to -do list, I did that. Clean up my Google Keep. Yeah, it was just a productive holiday. Um, most of it was spent working and learning um, more learning new technology stacks like Firebase and Azure and some more C++ uh, and so yeah that was a good good holiday I did a lot with it starting with the varsity work now which is going to get intense and so I'm not going to have as much free time for stuff like this 
which is sad, but you know what? It's about time. Let's uh, click off, check off a few more modules um, for this varsity degree and so that I can move on. I just watched a very boring lecture about accreditation, uh, ex accreditation, that's the Engineering Council of South Africa, and say, so, yeah, that was boring. I do not want to be a registered engineer anytime soon, just because it's kind of like not applicable to computer engineers. Um, but anyway, yeah, let me go. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.